Okay. Um, I'll go over this briefly because I think this is something that you should know, but it's not something that we're necessarily going to, um, to study in this class. And this is the way the site is laid out. This you might call the site map, the way all the pages work. And I want to I want to give you a particular site map because I think this is a useful one for, for you guys to focus on. Here's the home. You can either go through two navigation paths. Either you're going to go through an advanced search in this site, or you're going to go through a faceted navigation in this site. The advanced search takes you to a results list, and the faceted navigation takes you to a results list. The results list takes you to some detail file or to a document PDF. This is a particular site map, but it's a very generalized idea. I do a search, I get to a results list, the results list takes me to details, and now I can go back from the details back to the search. This is the way you want to look at a site in terms of the flow of control, the flow of pages, the things that a user is likely to do. And then you want to make these paths the most evident paths on your websites. Okay, so I just want to introduce this idea. We're not going into this because this isn't a, this isn't a class in site design or navigation design, but I do want to introduce you to the idea that you want to consider how is the flow going to happen from page A to page B to page C to page D, and how do you move around through the site? What's the little roadmap for people, how people are going to move around on the site? 